Any tips on creating content if you work better not being stuck to a schedule? I mean, girl, watch me. <laughs> I'm a one three. I don't operate on a schedule. I never have been able to do that. Like that's why I started my first business. That's why I left the customer service job that I was working and had like moved up in into leadership and like had a cushy like pay and was offered salary. And I was like, fuck this. I can't do, I can't work on a schedule anymore. This is stressing me out. I hate it. I'm gonna work for myself. I don't know. I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna figure out how to do it. I just create and flow. I don't create content when I'm not excited to. I, I don't operate on a schedule at all. The more things I try to schedule in my life, the more I see on my calendar as like scheduled stuff, the more stressed out I get. I can't do it. I have an undefined route, can't do it. Maybe like one to two things a week I can schedule. Other than that, hell no. Same undefined route. Yeah, we cannot do the pressure. We cannot, cannot at all. Oh my God, when I had like a scheduled job, I had so much anxiety before going to work because it was like I had to be there at a certain time. The pressure, right? I couldn't fucking handle it. When it was like, even if I had like an 11 a.m. shift, like 11 to seven, I would not be able to eat breakfast because I would be so stressed and anxious before the shift because it was like ah, pressure to be there at a certain time. I could not handle it. It literally like drained my energy. Become self-employed. Um, I just followed what I wanted to do. That's really, that's really it. And this was before I even knew about human design. Like I was just following my excitement and I was just following what I loved. At the time I was passionate about nutrition, fitness, and doing a lot of like active stuff like hiking and skiing. I was like really, 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 really into skiing, which I still am. I just don't do it as much as I used to. And so my whole business that I built originally was around that because that was my passion back then. I was also really passionate about plant-based eating and like health foods and all that kind of stuff. So that was the first business that I built. And then the passion waned for it and I wasn't passionate about it anymore. I started getting like other jobs here and there. The lockdowns happened, didn't have those jobs anymore. I was unemployed. My new passions emerged. That's what led me here. Back then it was tarot it was i mean it's always been astrology but i never had the thought of like i want to pursue an, a career in astrology i never had that thought i was so excited about it and sharing it with everyone that i could that it really found me because people kept asking me to like teach them about astrology or do readings for them it just evolved naturally because i was sharing my passion that's really like all it is